Okay, hi there everyone, meteorologist Rusty Dawkins, and uh, we're tracking some snowfall here. Uh, the potential is has been to the north and to the northeast, and it looks like that's going to continue, but we're going to check these models anyway and see what they look like. Uh, this is model number one. Uh, when The time I'm recording this is uh, just before 6 p.m. December 7th, so it's Wednesday. This is for the storm on Thursday, December 8th. So here we go. This is uh, wave one, model one, uh, continuing with the north and northeast Nebraska higher potentials. Southern Nebraska, southeast Nebraska, rain, freezing rain, freezing drizzle, all the potential. But this is just for just snow. I'll show the rest of the stuff later. Uh, that's model number one. Model number two, uh, this has it a little more spread out, but again, north central and northeast Nebraska, the higher potential uh, for precipitation. But it does kind of creep things down into southern Nebraska, uh, half an inch to maybe an inch in some spots. Uh, model number three, as we head through Thursday into uh, early Friday morning, more of a north central northwest Nebraska, but continuing to generally be north of Interstate 80, where south central and southeast Nebraska will likely see more rain and freezing rain and freezing drizzle. Model number four, kind of the same thing. So this is giving me a good feeling about where this snowfall potential, uh, when all these models start to say the same thing, uh, this is how it works. The closer you get to the event, the models all kind of figure everything out, uh, and it uh, gives you a good representation of where it looks like the, mo the snow is going to fall. Further out, I mean, if you were watching uh, like a few days, several days ago, they were all over the place. Uh, so. Confidence is getting higher and higher which, with each of these model runs. Model number five, uh, again, the northern half of the state, northeast Nebraska, maybe northwest Nebraska, seeing a, a, a better chance for the heavier precipitation. And then model number six, continuing uh, to say everything will be uh, the northern fringes. Uh, but again, this area down here could see some mixed precipitation. This was what Stormcast is saying by 8 a.m. Thursday, that mixed freezing rain, freezing drizzle, freezing duh, uh, from about North Platte, Grand Island, Lincoln South, and maybe even just, just rain uh, towards Hebron and uh, maybe even Beatrice. Now as we head through the day, rain, rain-snow mix, and then snow to the north. And this is why the snow potential is better to the north, because that's where the colder air is at. A little further south, that's when you see the rain uh, and temperatures a little above the freezing mark. And as we head through into Thursday night, the heavier snow moves off to the north and east. This is consistent with what we saw with all of those different models and then it gets on out of here by Friday morning. So unfortunately, the ice potential is out there. This is what it looks like. Uh, maybe uh, any kind of accumulation is not going to be uh, really good for any kind of travel. So keep that in mind as you head through the day. And then rainfall potential is also out there. This is southeast Nebraska where the better chance for rain is. A uh, tenth of an inch, quarter of an inch, maybe even up to a half an inch over here by Hebron, Beatrice, maybe even into Lincoln and further south and east. So uh, that's uh, everything that we have for you right now. Uh, keeping an eye on this storm uh, on my Twitter and Facebook and all that kind of stuff. So if there's any uh, watches, warnings, or advisories, there's a winter weather advisory right now. Uh, but uh, you can start, uh, you can watch all of that stuff uh, on my social media sites. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, we will talk again soon.